Truth About the Truth Professor Donna Edwards Seek the truth Listen to the truth Teach the truth Love the truth Abide by the truth And defend the truth John Huss Buy the truth and do not sell it where it's dim. Instruction and insight as well. Proverbs 23:23. Hello everyone and praise the Lord. Before we begin this lesson, I want to remind you that the truth has certain qualities you need to keep in mind as you work on the process of renewing your mind. If you don't fully embrace these truths about the truth, you are not going to make as much progress in renewing your mind as is available to you. And this will lower the ceiling on the degree of spiritual, emotional, and relational health that is possible in your life. So with this in mind, Let's begin looking at some of the important characteristics of truth. As I go through each one, I want you to write down your honest thoughts about the degree to which you see the truth that way. American novelist Anis Nin once said that the truth is like an elaborate puzzle that can only be put together fragment by fragment on a small scale by successive developments, serialarity like an elaborous mosaic. We cannot afford to appreciate it any other way. We have to humble ourselves in acquiring truth and be patient about the fact it is a lifelong process that will never complete. Truth is not our possession. It belongs to God. The Bible says, guide me in your truth not guide me in what we think the truth is psalms 25 5. there is no truth that we will discover that god didn't already know and possess every truth belongs to god if we don't see things the way he does we're the ones who are wrong and when we stumble across an important truth we need to humbly acknowledge we found something that was God's along, all along, and he was gracious enough to let us find it. In this light, there isn't any such thing as your truth or my truth, only God's truth. The truth, not lies, sets people free to grow in health into healthy human beings. This is why all of us need to dedicate ourselves to the truth of truth. It is the only way to mature into loving people, into the loving people that God wants us to be. Just as healthy as food is necessary for healthy physical growth and unhealthy food will damage the physical body, the same is true of truth. Truth is healthily nurtured for the mind. Remember, it's garbage in, garbage out when it comes to the thoughts we have each day. Our thinkers have been broken since the fall of humankind. For this reason, there are numerous barriers we will encounter to the truth, including number one, ignorance, 
two, incomplete knowledge, three, distractiveness, four, intellectual pride, five, forgetfulness, seven, six, closed-mindedness and dogmatism, seven, intellectual fatigue, eight, inconsistencies, and nine, faulty perspectives. You have probably heard this statement, the truth will set you free, but first it will make you miserable. Like it or not, there are a lot of truths that trigger spiritual and emotional pain. There are times when biblical truth will punch us in the stomach and make us feel humble, convicted, and even rebuked. We all need to be a doubting Thomas as we go through life. Take a look at John 20:25. 20, the genuine pursuit of truth requires doubt. There's a philosopher by the name of Rene Desecrets who said, if you would be a real seeker after the truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life you doubt as far as possible all things. The prophet Isaiah wrote, the grass withers and the flowers fall but the word of our God endures forever. That's in 40 verse 8. In a day and age when people say there are alternative facts and the truth isn't the truth, do you believe the truth as identified by God is unchanging and will last forever? As you go through life, it is important to understand the truth has certain qualities and characteristics you have to accept and to which you will need to adjust. The analogy I used with clients that if you were to take, you were to take up a sport such as tennis, you would have to comply with the requirements of what it takes to get the ball successfully over the net. For example, you could decide to hit the ball with the handle of the racket or hit the ball with the strings if you want to play well. Similarly, to renew your mind with certain properties and requirements and he isn't going to adjust the truth in our effort to grow psychologically, relationally, and spiritually. When it comes to the truth, we adjust to it or we play poorly. Key memory and meditation verses. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Psalms 25 5. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures forever. Isaiah 4 8. For the law was given to Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ, John 1, 7. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth, John 16, 13. But for those who reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger, Romans 2, 8. For we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth, 2 Corinthians 13, 8. Heavenly Father, you are truth. And in you there is no hint of falsehood or deception. I know that what you say is true and that I can base my life on it. Help me to respect the fact that truth is acquired 
piece by piece that truth is your possession and not mine. And to embrace that truth is the path to growth. Please remove any barriers in my mind and heart that keep me from seeing the truth accurately. Accept that truth is often painful. Be willing to doubt what I believe so you can show me the truth and erase my doubts and embrace that truth will stand forever because you will stand forever. Father, I pray that you will also help me to exercise humility when turning to you to guide me to truth, knowing that finite mind will never grasp, but the smallest piece of what you know and understand completely. In a world where truth is under fire and seems to change from moment to moment, I thank you that your truth never changes because you never change. Please, Father, help me to find the courage to face the truth and apply it to my life on a daily basis. In the precious and holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen.